Good day folks, I'd like to show you a web app I made here to uh, help some people. I showed you in the past I was using the sound card as a switch controller for relays and transistor and other small single devices up to about a volt and a half. All you have to do is add a simple diode to get a pulsed output with the sound and you could really use it as a switch. Now. Um, some people were asking me, you know, what software for the tablets, and not everyone is tech savvy for that to go hunting for software. And um, what happens is you, um, some people don't want to pay for it because most of these apps are paid. And the ones that are free, well, they're bloated with adware. And the issue I was having is here I am in the middle of a project with all my settings set. And next thing you know, every 10 minutes or so, a pop-up comes on, a video plays, it goes through the audio, obviously, and that screws up the whole project, right? So enough of that. And what I decided is to build my own program, no advertising, no, no uh, malware programs, just right down to the point how I like it. So I thought I'd share this for all of you, those who are maybe looking for different ways to experiment with triggers. So ideally, this will work with a um, computer sound card, but any device, it should work. I, I can't guarantee everything, but with the uh, web audio, it should work on most modern browsers, mobile or computer, whatever. And analog sound cards, as you can see in the circuit diagram, works best, but someone can get creative with this, folks. And uh, you could use a higher powered, let's say a wireless Bluetooth speaker, rip the speaker out, keep the, the right or the left, whichever you want to use, channel, that's your plus and, and ground. So let's say you've got a 20 watt speaker, you don't have the speaker no more, but that could give you 20 watts of... Um, of audio which would be the equivalent of AC to experiment with let's say you want to drive coils directly with a little bit of power I don't know what you'd want to do but it's an option right and it'd be wireless because it's already pre-charged right so that could be really interesting for controllers as well you know basically the sky is the limit so here's the software I'm going to show you real quick here as you see in the window uh, this is the sound card pulse generator here so here's the basic circuit diagram. Um, the right, I use the right, but it could be the left. It doesn't matter which one you want to choose. So you make a cable, a simple cable here. And this becomes your switching output, which would drive a small transistor, a relay, or something like that, an integrated circuit, whatever. And here you simply enter your frequency anywhere from 1 to um, 22K, basically. I put a, a hard-coded limit in there just in case some devices may not, but usually you can get a lot more, but for experimental this is more than good enough. The duty cycle, which is important of the square wave generator, this is a square wave, it's a pulse. So you can go down to 1% or all the way up to 50%, I didn't see any use of going over that, so hard-coded to 1 to 50, you choose which one you want. You click on play tone or stop tone. And of course, if you want more information, there's the menu here. And there's the help section, which is basically that. The help section with all of the technical details here for those who want to read into that if you'd want to. And then back to our main window here. So this is it. So the page is typewrite.social slash pulsegen, all one word, and I'm going to have the link for you. So I hope this could be useful, an app anyways, that's going to be able to run as long as you have it up and you shouldn't get random movies or whatever playing in there overriding your sound or anything. That's what was really, really messing with me. So an inspiration to why I built this. So... Thank you all folks again for watching and looking forward to all your comments.